praise God, on this resurrection Sunday. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Have your Bibles, and I'm not going to hold you long. I know people have got plans and for the day. And remind you again, there will be no service here tonight. But uh, let's just worship God and get get what we can out of the rest of the service. That will do us to you come back here Wednesday night. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. St. Luke's Gospel, the 24th chapter. Start reading verse 1. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed about thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He's not here, but he but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you, and he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words and returned from the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest. Let's praise him one more time. God, we love you. God, we praise you. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your spirit. God, we ask God that you just anoint and use us for your glory and on hearts and ears to receive your word today. We'll praise you in Jesus' name. Praise God. You can be seated. I, I kind of started out with maybe two thoughts for this message this morning, but uh, I wound up sell, uh, 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 selling on, on one and may incorporate the other one in there. But uh, I, I, I was looking at verse 5 when they came to the tomb to anoint uh, the body of Jesus. They found that the stone had been rolled away. These two angels stood by them, and uh, they were afraid when they saw him and bowed their faces to the earth. And, and those angels said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Amen. How many know that actually Easter Sunday is a celebration of life? Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. You know, we, we, we uh, cry and we're saddened when we read about the crucifixion of Jesus. And then there's joy when we realize that that blood was shed for you and I, that he died for you and I. Amen. But then when we realize that on the morning of that third day that that tomb was empty, that Jesus had risen, we began to realize Amen. that that third Jesus. morning and why we Jesus. celebrate Easter is actually a celebration of life. Yes. I, if we can somehow understand that today, that Jesus is no longer in that tomb. You know, why? the angels asked him, why seek ye the living among the dead? Amen. But I tell you, if you hadn't found Jesus today, or Jesus hadn't found you, you may be looking in the wrong places. That's right. Why seek ye the living uh, among the dead? He's alive and alive forevermore. Yes. You're not going to find him in the dead things of the world, in the, in, 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 in the tombs anywhere. Thank you know, God. all these other false religions and false gods, uh, uh, they're still in the tomb. Right? Bless him, Lord. Those gods, Mohammed, he's still in the tomb. Right. Where those that follow him would like to think so or not. Buddha is yes. still in the tomb. Where, yes, where, where those that follow him would like to think that maybe he's not. But I'm here to tell you, Jesus is not still in the tomb, Thank but he's a real rose, and we're here to celebrate his life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Not only do we celebrate his life, uh, this is a celebration of our life. Thank God. Yes, he came, the Bible said in John 10 and 10, he said, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and destroy. But he said, I'm come that they might have life 
and that they might have it more abundantly. Thank Praise God. God. So, so when we really realize it, when he came out of that tomb, uh, he, he paved the way. And see, he came out never to die again. Amen. One of these days, we're going to come out of that grave if we go by way, way of the grave. We're going to come out of that grave never to die again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank so it becomes a celebration of life. And life more abundantly. Another translation of that word abundantly means uh, uh, super abundant. Mm. See, God's meant for you yes, to enjoy sir. life. I'm, I'm not talking about, you know, I, I, when I talk about a celebration of life, you know, a lot of people have the wrong, wrong uh, uh, conception maybe of what life is all about and about the celebration of life. You know, really, <laughs> really, you know, it's not... Uh, uh, celebrating life it has nothing to do with how much you can party on Saturday night. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You know, when people think they're celebrating mm -hmm. and having a good time and celebrating life, you know, it has nothing to do with that. What, what I'm talking about, this celebration of life, it, it, it has a lot to do with eternal life. Yes, sir. And what I can enjoy in Jesus Christ now. You see, when we begin to realize that he died for you and I, but it would have been without hope and it would have been in vain if the morning of that third day he had not risen. My, my, my. One way she said, because I live, you can live. Mm. Because he came out of that grave, we can live. Right. Yes, and we sir. have a right to celebrate life today because he came that we might have eternal life. Amen. That we might have life and have it more abundantly. Praise God. You know, and I may, <laughs> maybe I look at things uh, a little different sometimes, but if, if somebody calls themselves a Christian, I want to see some life about them. All right. Amen. Amen. Huh? Yes, sir. I said, hey, I want to see them happy. I want to see Now, I know you're not going to be smiling all the time, and I know there's things we've got to go through, but if you're a child of God, there is a joy yes, inside is. of you that won't stay down. Yes, yes, it is. That's got to come out. Why? Because there's eternal life in you. Right. And that's why, because of that, whatever we're going through, we can celebrate life. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. When we realize... When we, Realize it, it's not about us, but Amen. it's about Him. My celebration is not about me, it's about Him. Amen. And about what He done for me. Yes, sir. About Calvary, about the life that He's given me, that abundant life. Amen. When I realize that and I know that and I understand that, then I can celebrate, I can truly celebrate life. Not Amen. only His life, I can celebrate my life. Yes, sir. Because He's given me eternal life. Thank God. Yes, sir. So, so, somebody show me some life this morning. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Feel you. life about you this morning. Yes. That you've come to celebrate life that God has given you. Jesus said, "I've come that they might have life, and that they might have have it more abundantly, or super abundant." Amen. I don't know about you, but I want super abundant life. Yes, sir. Do, do, do you do you realize? Somebody said, "Wait, but do you realize? You know, when you when you get up in the morning and that sun is shining, if I know God and He's given me life, it shines that much brighter." Thank God. Yes, sir. When I when I look at nature, see the creation of God and how beautiful it is, it should Amen. shine much more beautiful because I know I know the Creator of it all. all right. Yes, sir. And I can celebrate life because of that. <laughs> Thank you, Praise Jesus. You. Oh, yeah, there, there are a lot of bad things going on in the world. There are a lot of bad things going on around us. Uh, but I can still celebrate life. Amen. Because I know that soon that trumpet is going to sound. Right. Amen. And I leave this walk of life, but I don't die. Thank God. Jesus said, whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. That's right. I make a transition to a place he's prepared for me. Amen. So I can celebrate. That's right. I can celebrate life because the morning of that third day, when they came to that tomb, they found it empty. Yes, it is. 
So why seek even living among the dead? Let's have a celebration of life this morning. You know that the world would love to keep him in that tomb. That's right. They love to love, love to read about him staying in that tomb, but he didn't do it. No. He came forth on the morning of that third day. So we, we when we seek him, maybe we, maybe you know we, we need to stop looking for Jesus among the dead. And start seeking him among the living. Amen. So, Mr. So what do you mean? Bible teaches us that we're the light of the world. That's right. And if I have Jesus in my life, I, I have life. Amen. All right. I want that life to be so in, in, in me and in you that when you're among the world, they can see life in you. Seek ye. The living, you know, why seek ye the living among the dead? Let them seek out the living. Show the world you've got life. Show the world you've got eternal life. Show the world you've got hope beyond this life and it's hope in Jesus. Amen. And Thank a hope that hope is dead. You're going to leave there. So you celebrate life, and when they see you celebrate life, maybe they'll say to you, Yes. Where did you get that life? See, the Bible tells us that our life is, is, is more than just meat and drink. That's right. You know, our life yes, is more is. than the thing, just, just, just the things that, that, that we gather up or, or the things that we acquire. Life is more than that. Bless him, Lord. You see, because all these other things one of these days is going to pass away. That's right. The Bible said they'll melt with fervent heat. <clears throat> so all that we really got left when all that's gone is our life in Christ. That's right. Praise God. The Bible begins to tell us in, in Romans the 6th chapter. Romans the 6th chapter. Verse 1, what shall we say? Then shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death. Amen. See, see, what we're celebrating, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, that's what our salvation is based on. Amen. Death, burial, and resurrection. Therefore, we're buried with him by baptism into death. Amen. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so also should walk, even so we also should walk in newness yes, of life. Thank right? God. That's when we can begin to really celebrate life. Yeah. That's when we can have a celebration of life when we begin to walk in the newness of life that Jesus has given us. Amen. There's a song that said, uh, you never really live till you know the Lord. Right? That's right. You never really live till you know the Lord. Jesus said in one place, unless you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you have no life in you. Amen. So, so if I don't have Jesus in my life, I don't have any life to celebrate. That's right. But when I get him in my life, I've got eternal life, and I can celebrate life. Amen. Praise God. Why well, seek ye the living among the dead? It made me think of a, of a song you know, uh, words to a song, and I can only remember part of it said, looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> Maybe we've been looking for Jesus in all the wrong places. Oh. My, my, my. <laughs> because he's not among the dead anymore. Amen. He's among the living. Right. Yes, sir. He's among the living. So he said, even so we should also should walk in newness of life, if we've been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Amen. Amen. Praise God. That means I'm going to come out of the grave one day. Yes, sir, Amen. we are. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Him. 
Amen. Praise God. Knowing that Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more. And death hath no more dominion over him. Amen. And if I've got Jesus in my life, death has no more dominion over me. That's right. Amen. For in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto, unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank God. A celebration of life. Yeah. We're talking about a celebration of life. Galatians 2 and 20 says this. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Amen. The life that I now live, I, I live in Christ. Amen. I live in Christ. The Bible tells us in Colossians 3 and 1, If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, for Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above and not on things on the earth. Why? Because things on earth are going to pass away. Amen. Praise God. They're going to pass away one day. Amen. He said, if you're, if you're dead... For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Amen. And you're talking about a celebration of life, but when we make it over yonder and we appear with him in glory, we're going to have a celebration of life. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Why? Because that morning that those came to that tomb to anoint Jesus with spices, to anoint the body of Jesus, and that stone was rolled away, and they looked inside, and he wasn't in there anymore. Amen. Praise God. The grave couldn't hold him. Amen. No angels ask, why seek ye the living among the dead? He's not here. But he is risen. Yes, That's he is. what we're celebrating today on this Easter Sunday is that he is risen. He's not in that tomb anymore. And because he is risen, you, because Jesus. he Thank lives, you, we can live. Because Amen. he has eternal life, we can have eternal life. Amen. That's now, right. Whether we go by way of the grave or leave here with that trumpet sound, one of these days we can celebrate life like never before. Amen. Because Jesus took our sins upon himself and took them to Calvary. And he shed his blood for you and I. He let them kill him. Mm -hmm. he, said, I, that, he said, they're not taking my life. You know, some people said, thank you. He said, they're not taking my life. I give it. Amen. He gave his life that we might have life and have it more abundantly. That on this Easter Sunday, not only could we celebrate and have a celebration of His life, but we can have a celebration of our life. Yes, sir. Because our life is hid in Christ. Praise God. Let's all be